What is up guys, it's Tom LFC Evan here and I'm back from uh, my holiday and it's very very good to be at home again and uh, making uh, videos for you. Um, this is a brand new episode um, in my Liverpool career mode show and uh, after winning the um, FA Cup and uh, qualifying for the Champions League final we are now focusing on the Premier League. We need uh, four points from the last two games to win the league title because the title race is really close and we will play Everton and Newcastle both at home in the last two games so uh, it should be a really good um, opportunity for us to win the second league title in a row but uh, sadly uh, here I can see the uh, goal uh, just uh, at uh, in the middle of the first half and um, I want to inform you guys that uh, I will make uh, uh, three or four videos about my holiday. Uh, it will come uh, next week and uh, I uh, will uh, do a commentary about uh, all the great, great and amazing things I did on holiday. I have some really great and funny stories for you guys. So uh, excuse me if I don't talk about my holiday in this commentary. Um, because I have uh, a lot of footage uh, from my holiday that I can make uh, videos about so uh, I will talk about my holiday then uh, I had a really great time, I was in uh, Ireland uh, then in Northern Ireland and I um, flew uh, to England after that and I stayed there for another week uh, and I had an absolutely uh, fantastic time and after Suarez equalized, here I uh, we do a great passing move and Jesus Navas uh, with an absolutely lovely, lovely uh, goal in the to far top corner. Um, of course, uh, the league season already started in the Premier League and the transfer window is now shut uh, in real life and I have to say I'm uh, really, really happy and impressed by the new signings that uh, Liverpool made. Um, and uh, it means uh, that we have a very, very good chance to uh, get into the top four in the Premier League. And look at this. Suarez goes on a great run and uh, he wonderfully chips the keeper. Uh, and it's 3-1 in the 85th minute. And this surely means uh, that the league title goes to Anfield. The cup is rocking, as you could see, uh, behind Suarez celebrating. Um, so... Uh, we shall see uh, from the league table uh, how uh, the league uh, is shaping up uh, going into the last game of the season. Here are the stats from this game. And as you can see, uh, Everton had more chances, but we scored more goals. And yes, we have won the league title because uh, I think uh, Chelsea only can go level on points with us if they win their two games uh, and we have a much much better goal difference but uh, to be absolutely 100% sure we have to um, uh, get a point against uh, Newcastle in our last league game and, uh, so we are on uh, uh, 91 points and if uh, uh, if Chelsea win their two games, I think they can uh, only collect uh, something like 90 points. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty sure that we have won the league title already. But uh, in this game I still go out uh, and uh, try and uh, win the game because that's uh, the Liverpool philosophy. Uh, take it game by game and win every game uh, that we can. Um, the, the league start was pretty impressive by Liverpool. I was a bit disappointed. Uh, that we couldn't win against Sunderland uh, in the first game uh, but uh, we got tired a bit in the second half so Sunderland uh, equalized but uh, in the second and third game against Arsenal and Bolton uh, we played much much better and uh, I was really satisfied with uh, how the uh, team uh, played and attacked and uh, our uh, attacking play is very fluid and uh, here at the end of the first half, uh, Joe Cole gets a stupid, stupid uh, second yellow card. Uh, so we 
have to face Newcastle in the second half with 10 men. Uh, but uh, that doesn't bother us uh, too much because here we go on a great attacking move and uh, I filled my uh, second string uh, attacking lineup because the Champions League final is only days away and I didn't want uh, any of my major attackers to get uh, really tired or get a silly suspension and um, as you could see Nagog, Ngog, sorry, Ngog and uh, Andy Carroll uh, are forming a very good attacking partnership and uh, they uh, could uh, score the second goal so here we concede another stupid penalty uh, because of uh, Subotic handball so uh, Newcastle equalize um, but we again uh, go on a great run and uh, I just really wanted to make sure uh, to try and win this game so that's why I pass across the goal I don't I know it's not the uh, most beautiful goal in the world but uh, uh, Andy Carroll is only 74 uh, rated uh, because uh, we have started this carrier mode b before the update of course but here we can see the another stupid penalty I just couldn't believe this when this happened uh, uh, and uh, interestingly, uh, the Newcastle manager brought on Jovetic in place of Petric just before the penalty. So uh, Jovetic uh, scored uh, from the penalty and here uh, in the 83rd minute we have a glorious chance to win the uh, game but Carroll misses but it doesn't matter because uh, here Angog uh, blasts the ball <laughs> into the Newcastle player's stomach and we have won the league title two seasons in a row wonderful achievement by this uh, great team and uh, we scored 108 goals in the league in total and that just shows how uh, attacking I was uh, throughout the season I wanted to score as many goals as possible in almost every game and uh, it was a very very hard season because uh, as you could see from the le league table here are the trophy celebrations it looks wonderful. I would have preferred uh, Gerard to lift the league title, but I didn't play him, of course, uh, due to the Champions League uh, final only days away, uh, which will uh, be in the m in our next episode in this uh, series. And here, as you can see, uh, we got 17, 17 million pounds uh, from the winning the league. And as you could see, the league was really, really close. Uh, only four points separated the top three teams and uh, even the first placed team got 88 points so uh, uh, f with last year's points total 86 uh, we only would have come third in this year's league so that shows how close the league was and here as you can see uh, Suarez got uh, the top scorer award with uh, 30 goals but uh, Gerard and uh, my Virtual Pro also scored 21 and 20 goals respectively so that is a very very good return uh, so my uh, top 3 uh, strikers or attacking players rather uh, scored a total of uh, 71 goals in just in the league that is absolutely amazing and here as you can see Aston Villa have won the Europe, Europa League uh, and uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, um, in the coming days uh, there will be uh, a new episode coming out uh, in this uh, career mode the Champions League final against Barcelona so stay tuned for that see you later bye